Hi and welcome to another training video brought to you by Coric Group. In this video in Trimble Axis, I'm going to show you how to attach a CAD drone, a DXF, uh, to the software so you can visualize it as well as set out from the drawing and just go through a couple of tips within the map and what file formats you can use within uh, Trimble Access for an active map. So in here I've just, uh, in the menu, I have a project called Trimble Access 2021. I have a job called Map. So when I select on my map, you'll see it's my map job here. I can go into my properties of my job and you see in the properties of the job you have linked files. Uh, if you see you have an extra option there for active map, it's just the earlier edition of Trimble Access. So the active map stands for the CAD drawn, so you can link a CAD drawn uh, TTM file, so it's your surface file. Um, in the latest versions, you can use uh, IFC models, so 3D models, and also TRB Trimble BIM models. So you'll have linked files. In the latest version, when you click on the none, you'll have two tabs. So you'll have your points files, which is your CSVs. Uh, you'll have your map files, which you can see there is your uh, DXF, uh, IFC, TRB. Um, what you have to do is you'll get your CAD drawn and you'll copy it onto your logger. Once you copy it onto your logger, you can browse to where you saved it. So usually in your Trimble data folder, in your projects or on your desktop, you can literally browse and it'll open up all your file explorer. Uh, if you have, uh, for example, your TC7 or T7 full windows. So what you'll do is once you have your map there, you tick once to visualize it. So the first tick is just for visualization purposes only. You'll have it in your background. You'll be able to survey over it. But if you want to stake out from the map or set out the lines from the map, if you select it again, it'll create a dashed box around the tick. And this indicates that the map is active. You'll notice there's a play button as well also beside that tick. That'll show you all the layers within the CAD drawn. They're shown all active. These two are just description elevation, so they're just going to be visual. There's nothing to set out from them. But if I said I don't want to do any of them layers today, I just want to do the the walk, the boardwalk, and then I want to do the building, but I want to stake out the building. I can actually select um, certain layers and certain layers I want to see in the, the drawing. So you'll see that this goes a uh, slightly uh, transparent color and you see that when you see that it means that there's certain layers selected some are visual and some are active uh, for this example i'm going to have them all active but for this i'll just press accept and you'll see that there's one linked file and i accept again once i've accepted that i open my job and there's my map screen so that's one way of linking the map the other way of linking the map is a lot quicker is uh, the layers button here on the left when you select on the layers button, you'll see that the CAD drawn is there. So you can select, unselect it, and it disappears. You can select it again and select it once, visualize it, select again to make it active. And there you go, there's the map. You'll notice when I've opened up the map, there's all these blue little dots in here. So what Trimble Axis does, it creates points uh, on the changes of directions, ends of the line. So you can see here, there's points created. If your map doesn't have this, uh, all you have to do is go into your settings, the three little dots into settings and scroll down along, you'll see create nodes. So you unselect that, press accept and they've disappeared. If you don't have that uh, button there, if you go into your layers and you have your map and you have an older uh, edition of Trimble Access, down at the bottom, you'll have options. So you select on options and it'll bring you into the same place where you can create nodes. So my map is on, I accept. So I'll go back into my settings again. And you'll see there's an extra couple of added features in the new version. So you can have display DXF text, display codes, display names, elevations. You can also explode polylines. So if you have a building and it's a box and when you offset, the whole box offsets out or offsets in, but you want individual lines, you can actually tick this box and it'll actually create individual lines for you. So you select that press accept and then all the points are there you notice there's an extra bar here on my left hand side and my right so this is the snap to toolbar and that's the cad command 
uh, bar so if you go into settings you see CAD toolbar which is that one and the snap to the snap to is the functionality if you wanted to create so this line is in here uh, traditionally um, if you want to set out the midline midpoint you maybe want to get the start or the end of it and then uh, try and find out the middle um, so what you can do is you can hold down the plus as well um, what that does is makes a little point so I can make a little box around the area I want to see so if you hold down the plus it does a little box okay once I unselect that I say these this is a point here and there's a point there but I want the middle point of this line uh, here's all the commands and if you're wondering what they are if you hold down on them it says snap to midpoint snap to endpoint intersection point pi of arc center and then nearest snap to nearest if you want to select any if you've selected by accident you can hit this button and it deselect all so if I just go midpoint and then I have my selection picked and I tap this line it'll create the point for me I review that point it calls snap 02 so if I just move it over here snap 02 and there's the midpoint I can just instantly stake that point out if I want to deselect I deselect the point and that's how you add uh, a map the Trimble axis so this is 2021 uh, if you want to add and remove a map you go into layers also if you want to add in a surface file a TTM file or create your own it adds in there as well so if I just do a quick TTM so if I said I this point so what I'm gonna do is pick this point here this point here and maybe this point here and then I'll hold down on the screen just create a surface just going to call it Corec, hit enter and accept, creates a little surface file there. When I create the surface there or even if I copied it from Trimble Business Center, I go into my layers and you see that the surface is there. So there is an example of a surface. Okay, so it says Corec with a surface, uh, Trimble Terrain Model. If I select it again, it becomes active and then I press accept. And now when I walk over that surface, you'll get uh, a live DTM feed and, and then a cut on a fill. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and you found something helpful. Okay, thank you. Bye.